and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. You like the new jumper? Wait there. Horrible weather. We need a bit more. Oh, that's better. The new Stjarna collection. If you've not already checked it out, go and check it out. This hoodie is one of the most comfortable things I have tried ever. It's so class. This jacket, perfect for Scottish weather. Perfect for the football terraces. Go and check it out. Yes, I am here in the beautiful town of Musselburgh. You might think it's a small game. This is no small game. I am here for the derby. Musselburgh versus Haddington. Mussy versus Haddy. Boys, I don't think you're ready for this. We've got not one, but two sets of ultras. We've got pyro, we've got drums. Can you hear them in the background? They're just up there and we're going to see them. For all of you that love non-league football, this is what it's all about. You're going to see something you've never seen before. We may even have scraps today. We'll wait and find out. Come on. Great <laughs> boys. This is muscle, bro. This is non league football. <laughs> Shut it. Just shut it down, just try to get to sleep. <laughs> These boys are here because they have it. They don't care. <laughs> To get in. Listen to this noise. These boys are up for it. Come on. Right, the boys are ready. I'm ready. We're getting into this ground. It's Derby Day. It's Friday night. It's Derby Day. Let's have it. Right, we're outside the ground and we've bumped into Norman again. I know. Well, that's my Sunday name. Second time working. I know, boy. How are you doing? You're oh, good. good. I'm back from New York and do you know what? I couldn't come to a better place. I know. Nothing beats Scottish football, does it? Well, there might be, but this is the Scottish League, right? This, this isn't the Premier League or the Champions this is, this is like, what, 50 of the Listen, Scottish I football? Paid, I paid $130 to get into Madison Square Garden, right? Aye. I'll tell you that. And see this? I, I would rather this. It's brilliant, So eh? much better. See there, boys? What an atmosphere. Brilliant, brilliant, eh? What do you think is going to happen to me? Haddington, Musselburgh, well, Derby? Well, you know something? I was at the Musselburgh the weekend and yeah. they got beat for no by... Um, uh, Brooksburg, Brooksburg deserved the victory, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, so I think Musselburgh will win back. I think there'll be a win, but you know, you never know. And that's what fascinating beneath the Stoke League. It's going to be tense tonight. There's We've got tension. ultras on the Haddington side. We've got ultras on the Massey side. They were already singing the feed. What's the there. score going to be? I think it'll be 2-1 to Musselburgh. Good stuff. 5-1. 5-1, you're going Good stuff.
right, we're getting a pie. I am absolutely starving. This better be good. Yeah, hey, what pies have you got? Uh, we've got minced steak, sausage roll, we've got steak and haggis and steak and black pudding. Can I get a steak and black pudding, please? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, would you look at that pie? Steak and black pudding, as always, food review at the end. Half an hour to kick off. Look at that black pudding inside the steak pie. Oh wow. I think that's the fastest I've ever eaten a pie. Okay, so we are here with Taro. Taro Koikom. Am I right? Oh, I got it right. Perfect. The club present of Mushobra. Mushobra. What does that game look tonight mean to you? Well, this is very important, Blair. This is what football is all about at a local level. We've got our team here who are trying to push up the league to see where they can get. And we've got our rivals from Haddington who are really on a good run of form. The crowd will be out as well. Young team are in already. And, uh, yeah, we've seen them. We've already seen the match from them. They're unbelievable. Really good. We've got both sets out to us tonight. Uh, what's that going to bring to a game like this? It's non-league. Well, it's a, it's a twofold thing. First of all, it, it raises the ante on the evening. A lot of people maybe not like it, but these are the, the fans of the future. And that's, a, that's the second point. But it does raise the atmosphere, it does make it a, a better place to go to. Um, we'll get a good crowd here tonight. You hear the boys, they're up for it in the background. Do you think this is going to be a fire again? Obviously it's a bit local derby. Uh, um, it may come into a bit of a fiery game. Uh, the pitch is nice and greasy on top, so there'll be plenty of tackles going in. There'll be uh, a wee bit of rivalry. Some boys have played for each other. Uh, clubs Actually, they're good. They've played together at, at different clubs. We hope it gets a wee bit fiery because football is a bit of a like that. You know, you want some yeah. goals, you want some action. But then you want everybody getting sent off or the referee. You know how it's a derby, but you want some hard tackles going in at least. Yeah, you do. You, <laughs> you do. just want to protect your players, don't you? <laughs> I didn't want anybody getting injured, I didn't want anybody getting sent off. Yeah. Uh, hard. Because you'll be paying the fine. <laughs> yeah, hard and fast. I've played centre forward all my life, we kicked all over the park. Yeah. It's part and parcel of football, you know. What's the score going to be tonight? I'm pretty confident that we'll get a win, but it'll be by the odd goal, odd goal in three or the odd goal in five. Thank you very much, and all the best for you. Welcome. Right. Five minutes kick off. You know where we're going. We're getting right in with the atmosphere. Go no protection! Three one Mashe! Two one! We're ready. What's the score gonna be? Three one Mashe! Ah, you should three two him, take three two first. <laughs> We had it too.
would just hit me now. Perfect. Was he even paying attention on the ball just came and hit me? On the ball. What's the score going to be? Game's starting to pick up now. There's a ball. Oh! Tonight. What a tremendous turnout. A Friday night game, Easter Scotland Football League. Oh, oh, what a save! What a save that is. Half time, 1 0 muscle bra. Right, half time here. You see, we've got the Stirling clothes on, but we've no need of them. It's actually been good weather and we've been under the covering. Chink Taff, we're here. Ryan, Greg, Terrace Tools. Ryan, you're in the wrong. Drop the Twitters in the bio. Boys, Derby time. How's it been? It's been a good game. Good game. It took a wee while to get started. Yeah. Aye, hundred percent. Since most of us scored, no, you go back there. Nearly a goal up that side. Addington keeper pulled off a couple of Tremendous save, and then unbelievable ball into the back post header. Boom, one 0 It's been deserved, hasn't it? I think it's been a it's been a good game. I think Marshall will be happier for what they've done in the middle of the park. But I think Paddington have, have looked pretty pretty good going forward as well. Yeah. And I think as I say the goalkeeping's been uh, phenomenal to, to, to stop that. Like, that's about three world class saves. You can feel the tension already. You obviously you get the had the had Elters over there, yeah. Marsh Elters over here. Yeah. You can feel as the game gets on, they're stuck more harder challenges going in. The pitch is cutting up. Yeah. Second half, it's going. I feel last 10, 20 minutes. If it's close, maybe one goal, two goals, it's going to get quite feisty. I, I think there could be a red card. I've yeah. just got a feeling. Yeah. Last 10 minutes, someone's going to get sent off. What's the score going to be? I'm going to say 2 1 in total. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say three two. Three two. Oh, yeah. too big <laughs> I'm not gonna give a score because I'll end up getting battered by one of the ultras anyway. I'll catch you in the second half. And we're off for the second half. Ho oh, ho! This is gonna be a feisty one. Let's go. So here's a table for anybody that's interested. Musselbra are actually only three points ahead. That makes this game even more challenging. One goal in it, three points in it. This is going to be a good finish. Right, it's, it's only fair we we'll go over to the other side and get an interview with the Hardy Boys. Let's go. Right, we're over with the Hardy Boys now. Paddington are pressing now. The boys are doing their best. <laughs> this sub's getting a good bit of abuse. Such a tense atmosphere. Both sides are going for it. One now still to Mercy. Oh! Oh! It's a goal! What is it? It's just a nice one! Look at that! What a goal! Oh! What a finish that is! And it's one each! 20 minutes to go! It's all to play for. Let's have it. Each 
Boys are with 20 minutes to go and I can't say it's not deserved. Taddington have been on top in the second half, completely opposite to the first half. These boys, they're up for it now, it's one each, all to play for. Come on. Scottish football, nothing compares to it. Look at the passion. for the boys. Well, hey, I'm going to need to get to a home game. I'll get to a home game. 100%. Both sides have been unbelievable tonight. This is where it's at. Easter Scotland Football League. If you've not been to a game before, get yourself down. You've seen it all tonight. Look at them, I'll show you boys. Listen to them. Jeez. Ten minutes to go, it's starting to get tense now. Oh my! Oh! Surely not! Why is he not past it there? What a chance! Why is he not past it there? That should have been 2 1 there. Muscle Brick Keepers got off with an absolute stinker of a mistake. The ball. Oh, oh, what a chance. Game's starting to open up now. One each. Go on. Yes, love that. Trying to move on this grassy hill. Oh, jeez. It's like an obstacle course. Making sure I don't slip. Oh, there we go. It's a chance. Oh. Full time, unfortunately neither side could get the win in the end What a game that was, but end to end, both sides were at it Easter Scotland Football League, as you've not already, get yourself down and get watching it I will see you back at the house for a match day review <laughs> The boys are closing it And just like that, we are back in the house. Well, wasn't that an action-packed evening? A derby, and to say the least, it was eventful. That was a proper Scottish football derby. Had everything in it. Both sides had goals. You've seen the limbs and you've seen the ultras. I'm loving the fact that all these clubs in Scotland are now realising they need an atmosphere. All these boys are going and supporting their local teams. And do you know what? It's working. They're going in their numbers. And you heard the president speaking about it. It makes a difference to the club. You know how we do. The match day experience of Musselburgh. I'm going to be reviewing. Let's go. So first of all, the football. Well, this was a feisty affair. Feisty, but very nervy. A draw was a fair result in the end. For football, it wasn't the best. I'm going for 6.5 out of 10. Price to get into the game, it cost me £8. That is around what you'd be expecting for that level. Not amazing, but not bad. 7.5 out of 10. Atmosphere. Well, I was told to turn up and I was told the Mercy Boys would be putting on a show. And didn't they just put on a show? From 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night, these boys did not stop. From the march all the way to the 90th minute in the game, hats off to them. For atmosphere, I'm going with a strong 9 out of 10. Food. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I think we have the best food we've ever had on this channel. The best pie I have ever, ever had. If you like pies, get yourselves down to Musselburgh Athletic. This pie, blown out the water. I went up to our broth and I tried the steak and black pudding pie and I was very disappointed. You couldn't taste the black pudding. Well, Musselburgh, whoever you got that off of, they've got it spot on. Big, massive bit of black pudding in the middle, bit of black pudding on the top, peppercorn sauce in it, and big lumps of steak. Perfect, perfect. And the pastry was buttery, it was soft, it was, there was no dry bits in it. In Scottish, it got scrand. Food, easily a 10 out of 10. Finally, facilities. What can you say? It's a good ground, it's got facilities for all. Home support, the away support, as we've seen last night, it could do a capacity crowd if need be. Facilities, I'm going down the middle, 7.5 out of 10. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on yet another video. If you have got this far in the video, why have you not subscribed already? Click that subscription button, it takes two seconds and it makes the world difference. I am off to Preston versus Blackpool. Yes, the Derby on Saturday. Stay tuned for that one. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.